Hey, um, so we'll go over my watch collection. What's on my desk, what I've done, what I've collected, starting with what I'm wearing. I am wearing a Ferrari GMT watch. Got your GMT. It's based off the Rolex it's, um, GMT Batman. Quite nice. It's quartz, nothing too great. Um, got your minutes, hours, seconds, your minutes. And your, um, excuse me, your GMT hand, not minutes, again. Quite a good watch, quite bulky. Next. Um, is my Casio Edifice Solar Bluetooth. Pretty uncommon watch. Has a load of features. If your Bluetooth connectivity hooks up to your phone, solar power, pretty neat. Got a bunch of functions. Bluetooth, you got your GMT, you have your day of the week, your tachometer, speedometer, they call it. Chronograph, um, 24 hours, uh, two different time zones. Quite nice. Okay, let's get into the big boys. Here we're gonna start with the for the automatics the automatic Ferrari Grand Premio very very rare watch. Got your seconds right there. You got your small seconds and then you got your twenty four hours. You got the back of it. It's quite fancy. I like it. Rose gold and carbon fiber. Quite nice. Very limited, very rare. Sick. Next, we'll take a Maserati Potenza mechanical skeleton watch. Where's the back? I got this one in Italy. Quite nice. I like it. Sapphire Crystal, uh, 40 hour power reserve, I believe. Automatic, you got your open heart right there. Very hard to see it. But the hand sweeps and fun stuff like that, pretty neat. Now, uh, watch I took to Italy. My Soviet Russian little watch. Old watch from the 70s, 60s, 50s. I have no idea it's old. But yeah, I wore it. Uh, plexiglass for your front crystal. <clears throat> Here we have my relic skeleton watch. Uh, it's automatic skeleton. Um, pretty neat. This is an aftermarket clasp. Uh, Floyd. Floyd. Um, deploy it clasp. Pretty neat, automatic, 72 hour power reserve. We have this same watch in just a different form, same features, automatic, fun stuff. You got your back, your display back, funsies. And then we have another one. Same features, same brand, same everything, different colors. have my Invicta Jet Dart, automatic, you got your moon phase, your second time, and then you got your main time, and then you got your open hearts there, got that on a cruise, <clears throat> we have a, a uh, not a Rolex, it's a knockoff, uh, date just, it's a Sangdo date forever, uh, automatic, so, second hand sweeps. Pretty cool. We have an Invicta Pro Diver. Automatic watch as well. Quite neat. I'm trying to get through all the boring watches first. And then for our cool movement here, the Acribos Turbion. Very cool at the bottom there. You can see our Turbion. 
it's not running right now, but quite nice, very limited edition. We have my Reef Tiger Aurora Tank 2 Swiss watch, very nice. Here we go. So, there you go, automatic watch. Quite neat. It's got your year, your month, your day, your week. It's open heart, so that's when I say open heart, that's what I mean. But it's a Swiss movement, it's quite neat. We got up here another Reef Tiger at your minutes, hours, seconds, uh, year, month, day of the week, day of the month, seconds, minutes, hours. It has everything you need. Okay, the big boys. We got the Aurora Gala's Light. Pretty cool. Skeleton watch. You got your indices are on the glass, not on the face. Your second hand is the uh, seconds. Pretty cool. First off, we got the Feiss FM 502. Um, automatic Selington Sapphire Crystal. Pretty nice. Uh, so that's cool. I wore this when I was going through my wisdom teeth surgery. It's quite nice, actually. Uh, following that, we have my. You're showing me our um, something. A friend got it for me. It's a turban. That's pretty neat. We got everything. So skeleton watch, turbion, very new. Got it. Sapphire crystal. And now for the big ones that I've been waiting, that I saved for last, we have a Rolex GMT Master Two Pepsi. Quite nice with your stainless bracelet, oyster bracelet. You got your. Pepsi, so it's pretty rare, but you just have your black uh, black dial here. Nothing on the back, nothing too fancy. This was my very first Rolex that I got. It's quite neat. So, has a GMT function, just like this one. So, same functions, just this one's mechanical. Uh, next, we got my Rolex Samariner. I don't even know the reference number, um, but it's on an Oyster Flex bracelet, and I just got Oyster Flex strap, and I just got a new clasp for it. So that was quite neat. Very classic, very simple. Uh, finally, we got the weirdest one up here, the Rolex Samariner Hulk. So... I still do it just as a mariner, just in green. It's quite nice. I love it. So yeah, there's a there's a watch collection update for you guys. So.